Okay, can I get an N in the chat? One Nora. Oh, I'm I'm broke. This would have been great. It's okay. This is what happens when you don't have that much money. Kind of deserve it for spending all my gold. Oh wait, this guy is so strong. It's not even close. That's kind of a cool cutscene. Yeah, I guess um, if you're not playing for first, you need to like make sure you have like 20 gold every at the end. Uh, just so you can buy a charm every ground. I, I think the the adjustment I need to make is that I have to uh, not roll looking for two stars. I have to just like sit there and like save money for charms. Because I, I definitely lost a few of those fights because I couldn't buy charms. That's like a big strategy adjustment. It reminds me of how in set four, it was really good to pre-level, but in set five, you were throwing the game if you pre-leveled. So a lot of people just pre-leveled because it's what you were supposed to do in set four. Myself included. And then they didn't realize that like you're actually throwing the game before it even starts. The reason why was because um, in set four, there was Chosen, which is kind of like Headliner. Uh, and pre-leveling got you a chance to win the game like on the spot by getting a two cost Chosen. Right, like getting an instant two star two cost uh, by pre-leveling is like insanely high value. But in set five, there was no Chosen. When you pre-level, you're just like ruining your chances of hitting your two stars. Hmm, why so tense? And it wasn't until um, a pro watched one of my games and then like told me what I was doing wrong that I realized it. So yeah, I guess one of those behaviors you're gonna have to overwrite is like you're not allowed to roll uh, below 10 gold if you need to buy charms. Was it Asa? No, it was a guy named Goobums. I kind of have like a multi-striker thing going on here. Gotta sharpen my lamp. I'll make this look like magic. I really like Eldritch early game. I only needed one shot. Uh it's definitely not Honey Mancy from this spot. Probably not you have my sword. Double down seems really interesting. It seems like an insane like uh loose streak and then win out. Kinda like consistency. Oh, I kind of want to do Forge, though. In general, I just like trying to find cool combinations of Forge. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, snap! What? Such power! Okay, I tried this earlier on PBE. I thought I had promise to it. Syndra scales permanently based on the <laughs> amount of cast that she does. At 15 casts, she shreds. At 30 casts, she gains additional casts. So I feel like mana zane could be something pretty cool here. Let's give it a try. Mana zane Syndra. No one escapes my bow. Yeah, sounds kind of awesome. You just, you just get to farm so many casts. Okay, let's give Mana Zane Cinder a try. Uh, the itemization's probably gonna be like, like a Rabadon's for a lot of upfront AP. And then, I'm not even sure if you want another Mana Zane item. You can either like, give her a Mana Zane item and then try to uh, just farm like infinite casts, or you can actually make her strong. I think the, uh, the optimal play would be you do a Mana item, and then you item move it later. That sounds kind of sick. You remove it later for just full AP, and then late game you just have only Mana Zane, and then a lot of damage amplification. That sounds kind of sick. The dragon nears. Okay, so let me think about this. I uh, probably not playing Poppy. Do you even need to play five Eldritch? I think five Eldritch is probably like five store waiver, where you play it early, and then once you get better units, you swap them out. Uh, what I really want is Encanters. I want at least Cassio. And then you can reroll these two. And I feel like it's Shapeshifters. I feel like Shapeshifters is such an efficient frontline. So then I would mark Chase, 
Shivana. Oh, you could reroll Shivana, Cassio, Sintra, and Nyla together. Yeah, two cost reroll could be interesting. Let's give it a try. I tried it once at the beginning of PBE, and it wasn't that good. Oh, please, please, please. I'll pretend I'm going for the glove. There's beauty in even the smallest moments. Oh, it's this portal. I didn't pay out. Okay, noted. Anything that gives you components is really good value. Have a good carry item. Uh, I think it's okay. I don't think it's abyss, but like it's definitely worth slamming if you have it right now. Victory awaits. Yeah, it's like one million percent worth uh, slamming if you have it right now. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is already better. I don't think Nyla. Like it makes sense because she's Eldritch, and then she's a uh, two cost. But everything else like doesn't really make sense. I probably just like keep her low priority. I think I'm gonna itemize Shivana, because Shivana's the one who's most likely to get three starred. Is Eldritch not good? I mean, the reason I'm playing Eldritch here is just to have another tank. Right? It's like Syndra's already Eldritch, Elise is already Eldritch, so then I'm playing Nyla to just like finish the synergy and get an additional unit on the board. But like four shapeshifters tankier than two shapeshifter plus Eldritch. Oh, maybe Mordekaiser instead of Nyla. That makes a lot of sense, actually. And then it also allows you to play, like, a Vanguard later. Hmm. Remover. Oh my god. Despair. Victory awaits. Crap, I really want to roll. But if I want to roll, I should level. And I'm going to level and roll, and I don't hit, I just die. Hopefully, my board wins anyway. Okay, honestly, I've hit so many shapeshifters, I don't even have to stick to my build anymore. I could actually, like, play something new. No, I, I like this, I like this. My Cinder's already been stacking. 28 casts. For every 30 casts, create an additional rift that deals 35% damage. So, like, basically, every 30 casts, she gets 35% stronger. It's not Triforce. Oh, I like team building here. Placebo! Your team gains 1% attack speed. God, that's really funny. Alright, I'm down. 1% attack speed diff. Alright, let me roll until I hit one more upgrade. Okay. And my level 7 will be Cassio. You know, I actually did not know how to pronounce Cassio's name for the longest time. I used to say Cassiopeia. I rolled kind of deep, but as long as I keep winning, it should be fine. Is that not how you say it? Wait, I thought it was, I thought it was Cassiopeia. I always used to say Cassiopeia, but then people are like, "No, it's Cassiopeia." I'll take care of everything.
You have it right. Check Google pronunciations. Ha! <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, like Senju Wu Uwani. Right, let's see. How do you spell it? Is it Cassio like that? Is that the correct spelling? Yeah, I think this is how it's pronounced. Uh, let's listen to how it's. All right, I think this is how it's spelled. How is it actually pronounced? Can I get a pause, champ? It's time for the moment of truth. Our future will be bright. The dragon nears. I'll take care of everything. All right. <clears throat> Please help, I've been stuck inside this webpage for 48 months and nobody has noticed Cassopia. Oh. Cassopia. That's completely different from what I was expecting. Hey, is that Titans Hodge BT Jinx? Giga Chad. Send in the signups. Hope for a spot. Nice. Thanks for signing up. Good luck to you. Hopefully Riot likes you. Oh, ma minor gambit? I'm down. On wings of fury. Oh fuck. I wanna roll for one more upgrade. I mean you don't you don't really need to. Such power. So what you wanna roll since you're nine streaking? I mean, yeah, but like it's about to hit creep round. Wasting Econ before creep runs pretty bad. You would only do it if it's to keep your streak. But like, if you look at this, how can you actually get stronger here? You can get stronger by hitting a 3-star, or like a Nasus, or an Eco. And it's like, not that likely. There's also the, the fact that I'm probably going to win anyway. My board looks kind of OP. This Swain 2 is like, no joke. Wow! I really hit a 2-star Nasus. The dragon nears. Three star Nasus? On six? <laughs> if you're wondering why I'm rolling during creep rounds, so just clear, try to clear bench spots. Who's a good boy? I'm a good boy. What a line. <laughs> I don't want that. Red buff actually looks like a pretty good idea. Syndra hits the whole board. Sorry, Jace. On wings of fury. Such power. Someone has to go. Probably Mord. Victory awaits. Okay, honestly, I don't even think you need Eldritch. I think I just want to go six shapeshifters. Sorry, Mordekaiser, I don't have the space for you. Okay, it's a good thing I didn't slam red buff, because I totally forgot how to sunfire. Is Shiv on Cassio good here? Uh, it would be if if Syndra didn't already shred. So if you're playing a Cassio build without a Syndra, then you could. Yeah, I, I, I'm down to drop Eldridge. Mm, probably not Pandora's. My items are fine. Alright, let's do this. I'm down to commit. Commit. We will hit. The dragon nears. Suffer my fury. On wings of fury. Our future will be bright. Victory awaits. Shit. Dude, I'm I'm a I'm a fucking psychopath. Why did I roll? Well, I know why I rolled. I rolled because I'm one of Sinjar 3. 
Though I, sh I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have, man. I could have just kept 10 or 20 gold. I'm probably gonna win anyway. I'm excited to find out if like Cassio reroll though. She's basically barred from set 11. Okay, I mean, now that I'm stuck in this hole, we all agree I, like, I gotta keep rolling, right? Hit one three star and then keep my streak forever until the end of time. I'll take care of everything. I'm a I'm a fucking psychopath. I can't keep it in my pants, man. All I have to do is just relax, build up some econ. It doesn't even matter if I lose as long as I have econ. But, like I keep on pigeon myself, pigeonholing myself into the spot where like I have to roll because I have to keep my streak. I can't keep it in my pants. No, but like at this point, I'm so close. I'm one off of two three stars, or two off of two three stars. So I've got to do. It's so easy to just like hit one three star and then sit. How do you lose one HP? I bought a charm that costs one HP and gives you two gold. I've set myself up in a spot where like if I randomly lose my streak, I just like throw the game instead of being patient. Is that a Cassio on Carousel with a ru oh? Is that a Syndra on Carousel with a Nashers? Hamana, 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 hamana. I'm rolling like a psycho. Piece of this. Okay, now I can rest. I, this is what I live for. Control. Nashers would make my Syndra stronger. But redemption makes my frontline stronger and also allows it also allows me to play like um Gwinsu's here. Would static go well with Cassio? Uh, I answered that three minutes ago. Uh Syndra already shreds, so it's not worth it here. If I weren't playing Syndra, I would do it. What about foreign cancer? I feel like I'd rather do six shapeshifter, but I definitely have a tendency to like overbuild frontline and underbuild my backline. So maybe four encounters to play. Oh, it's actually a Sindra 3 to. Uh, I am down to look for Zig's Karma now. Don't worry, I got this. That is a big Nunu. Even the kid is huge. It's that center thing. Find your center. I've never tried that augment before. Looks kind of cool. <laughs> Nomzi reroll. Oh, it's not Nomzi reroll. He's just waiting. Oh, I think he's waiting for a new Nomzi to move items over. Man, shapeshifters go hard. Swain is such a satisfying unit. I really like his ability of stand there and be tanky and deal damage slowly to people. Okay, hopefully I can get multiple Gwinsus on this uh, Cassiopeia. What would this Swain be? Uh, if you want him to be a tank, it's probably just like Declaw, Bramble, Redemption. If you want him to like be an everything man, there's probably like an Archangel's BT and Gargoyle, something like that. Oh nice, another uh, Gwinsus, that's huge. I noticed they had a lot of like troll voice lines in the game. Alright, let's do this. I'm gonna level. And let's roll for one Cassio. Oh, fuck. Okay, hang on. Focus, Albert. You got this. You got this. Victory awaits. I'll take care of uh, it's it's taking too long. I don't want to dupe the Cassio because I might get one here. Victory awaits. Okay. Calculation. Roll faster. I can't. It, the it's I'm limited by the speed of the ch the the charm. It's every two seconds. All I can do is just like sit there and make sure I don't miss any units. Or I, I guess I could buy it earlier. Oh, I'll turn him into an omelet. Hmm. 
The answer lies within. Didn't you want to remove the mana item later? That's a temporary remover. It goes away after one round. Okay, the moment I hit one, I can do the other. Honestly, oh, what the fuck? He just forfeited mid-fight. Oh wait, this guy forfeited, which denied me Syndra stacks. Wait, he actually denied me like five stacks. It's fine, I'm actually not even sure if I was gonna win that fight. He forfeited so early. Like, he was level nine, he might've beaten me. I didn't hit my board yet. Oh, imagine I just hit a Briar from this. Okay, for the sake of not losing my streak, I'm just gonna dupe the swine. Strength. Fear the power is the only teacher. They call me Mr. 99. I'm not gonna feed my Briar. I believe I can hit. But yeah. It, it's much better if you wait until you hit one and then dupe the other. But I'm like, I'm so terrified of losing my streak. She's so hungry. Fuck the briar, man. We'll find her plenty of food. Oh wow, do I lose? Oh my god, I lost anyway. Damn. Even with the swain three, I lost. Fuck, I took the only other side. Honestly, I think I was supposed to sell this Nico and then just roll. Like I don't I don't even want to roll for three star Nico. I was supposed to probably just Oh now that I lost my streak, I'm done to feed. Oh wait, nine fairy. Oh fuck. No wonder I lost. Wait, that's kinda crazy. Man, I'm pretty sure Casio 3 is gonna be way stronger than Syndra 3 here. Because of the infinite scaling nature. So what does Cassio's ability do exactly? For the next six seconds, attacks deal 247 magic damage. Yeah, it's basically just barred without trick shot. This Nunu is humong- oh, it's a hero augment. Okay. All right, I'm gonna roll like twice here. Wait, imagine if this gives me a shapeshifter. Yeah. <laughs> sure, why not? Here you go. That's such a funny, uh, it's such a funny charm. Wow, Smolder's voice. Alright, so I need to level up to 8, and then play 6 Shapeshifter, and get a 3 star Cassio, and get 3 items on both of my carries, and then I think I can win. Dude, I really do feel like this is gonna be the entire game though. Uh, this Callista build is just way too good. There's just like no way you can really easily snipe the Callista, so any build that involves Callista with Gwinsu's, and then like any frontline is just so strong. And like Callista happens to be a fairy, fairies are a tank trait, and then there happens to be a fairy bastion, so you just play fairy bastions, and then you just like win the game. I played it so much on PvE already, like it's definitely what I'm gonna play in ranked, but I'm pretty sure everybody else is gonna play it in ranked as well. It's so easy and it's fun. Think what I could offer. It's my call. A snack. Oh! I mean, 
Oh, why not? Ultra Bis Cassiopeia. Still need one more uh, shapeshifter. And the only one ones remaining are one cost. Preferably at least, so I at least get the Eldritch for like an extra 2,000 HP. If you don't play Callisto when instead is out, do you go 8th? No, like, I'm not playing Callista, I'm not going 8th. But I suspect that first place is going to be reserved for Callista players, because it's so hard to snipe that Callista unless you have a 0th2 specifically. Callista's just like the best, uh, like, late game scaling unit. Like, I'm pretty sure she destroys my Cassio through here. And then Fairy and Bastions are just like so strong as a, as a combination. Oh, it was actually very close. Hmm, why so tense? Relax. Summon a dragon? Uh... I think I just lock. I'll savor this! Oh, I actually can't afford it. Yeah, it's weird that the dragon doesn't count as a dragon. That's fine. I just need the HP. It's it's another Callista. This Nunu looks insane. But look at Cassio. Machine gun Cassio. Each auto deals 414 magic damage. I'm definitely like inting by feeding my Briar. Like, there's no way I'm hitting Briar too, so why am I doing this? Oh, 129 Castle in the Syndra, holy shit. Looks like she's dancing. It's kind of funny. Still. Look at her head. It's crazy that he hit 9 Fairy, but it's like not auto winning. I, I would think that 9 Fairy is an auto win. Hey, yeah, look at this Cassio. Yeah, I gotta admit, Cassio 3 is really funny. It's like basically Callista, but in two cost form. Am I getting oh wow, 9 Fairy lost. I guess the new new hero is kind of strong. Alright, I need uh, an item for... Oh, I kind of like uh, red buff here. It's also on a Briar. I can roll for a charm and also maybe a Briar too. Oh wait, what? Is that two... Nico back in her Nico. Nico is joyful to become you. Yeah. Okay, I probably can't afford. I'll just I'll take discount, and then just get three gold. I can't afford to like do a full charm. Okay. Uh. Here you go, bro. <laughs> Make something happen with that. Yo, this Nunu is in my face. Surely Cassio just whittles him down though, right? Cassio is like the queen of single target damage. Hurry! Uh-oh. No, the fact that she took out my Syndra. All right, come on, Albert. Roll for a good charm. You can do it. Target dummy. Do I settle for target dummy? I can do better. Mm, I feel Reforger. Coming. Hmm. Why so tense? Fuck. Relax. Nom, 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 nom. Okay. I got trench coat, intervening locket, and I got long briar. The good thing it didn't hit my backline. Yeah, I got a suspicious swain. <laughs> Sussy swain. Okay, I positioned a little bit better. I realized he doesn't really have any AoE. At least not anything substantial, so I can just cut my backline. Come on, go get him, Sussy Swain! You can do it! Okay. All I have to do is just get a good charm once. Wait. I think I don't 
feed. Because if I feed, I could actually die next round. I think you can take 19 damage. I, I'm pretty sure I wasn't supposed to feed ever, but I was just doing it because I think Briar is really cute. I think the correct play was to not feed ever and have an extra life. The best that I might get is probably TG. Give me a Briar. Or an Elise. No. Oh! That's gotta be crazy. Our future will be bright. The answer Briar? lies within. Okay, come on. Who got the attack speed? Okay, it was Cassio. That's good. It jump starts a lot. That should be it. Insanely fast jump started Cassio shreds this Nunu. We actually scale harder than the Callista thanks to triple Gwinsus. Aw, oh, hell yeah. Turn him into an omelet. Nice. <laughs> Dies of Omelette. Wow, that was sick. Cassio 3, beating out Nunu 3 with the Callista 2. 